You are watching the Dark Fantastic Network. Varney the Vampire, or The Feast of Blood, is a Victorian era serialized gothic horror story variously attributed to James Malcolm Reimer and Thomas Peckett Prest. It first appeared in 1845-1847 as a series of weekly pamphlets of the kind then known as Penny Dreadfuls. When the story was published in book form in 1847, it consisted of 232 chapters and nearly 667,000 words. It is the tale of the vampire Sir Francis Varney and introduced many of the tropes present in vampire fiction recognizable to modern audiences. It was the first story to refer to sharpened teeth for a vampire, noting, with a plunge he seizes her neck in his fang-like teeth. The story has many anachronisms, including a confused setting. While ostensibly set in the early 18th century, there are references to the Napoleonic Wars and other indicators that the story is contemporary to the time of its writing in the mid-19th century. Varney's adventures also occur in various locations including London, Bath, Winchester, and Naples. Scholars have suggested that Varney was a major influence on later vampire fiction, including, Carmilla, by Le Fanu, 1872, and Dracula, 1897, by Bram Stoker. Many of today's standard vampire tropes originated in Varney. Varney has fangs, leaves two puncture wounds on the necks of his victims, comes through a window to attack a sleeping maiden, has hypnotic powers, and has superhuman strength. But, unlike later fictional vampires, he is able to go about in daylight and has no particular fear of either crosses or garlic, or any other religious symbols, though he operates mainly at night, as moonlight heals him of injury. This is also the first example of the, sympathetic vampire, a vampire who despises his condition but nonetheless goes on existing and feeding on humans. This trope would later become standard in such movies as Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula, 1992, and the best-selling series, Twilight, by Stephanie Meyer. Varney the Vampire is a near-forgotten book, despite its massive influence on popular culture and gothic literature, mainly because of its massive length and its repetitive, serialized nature, which was typical of the Penny Dreadfuls published at the time. Another reason is the occasionally sloppy writing, especially in the second volume, and the lack of a central protagonist. But for fans of horror, gothic literature, and literary history, Varney the Vampire is a fascinating curiosity.